Mila, where did you meet your wife? In Sao Paulo, uh, she was postdoc. No, she 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 was doing uh, her PhD at USP, and I was doing my postdoc at IPEN Institute uh, of Nuclear Sciences inside the USP. Uh, but the Brazilian, you know, my colleagues, uh, as soon as I appear there, they 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 start to to invite me to go out with uh, with them to go. To movies to, to, to watch some movies to to get some drinks and then I got to know a lot of people uh Susanna also and and it was this she's also physicist like like me mm -hmm. but she's working in in another area it's a medical physics how old you were, were you when you came to Brazil I was 38 38 okay so you've been there for 24 years now. 24 years, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, Mila, how, how many languages do you speak? Well, officially three languages, my Serbian, Portuguese, and English. But I speak also a Croatian language, Bosnian language, Macedonian language. <laughs> a lot. Because it is the same language of the former <laughs> Yugoslavia. Yes. Okay, Adenilson. Okay, Milan, I, I have two questions. First one, which city uh, did you live uh, when you uh, live in, in uh, Serbia? And I would like to share. And also, after that, I'm going to share also uh, the Aracaju. So I'm going to share the map so you can say, uh, uh, we can okay. see the, 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 the city, okay? Okay, I was born uh, and spent my childhood in Zrenjanin. It is a small city, 60,000 uh, population. You're going to have to spell that. You're going to have to spell it. I didn't yeah. understand. Uh, Zrenjanin, uh, it is 70 kilometers north of Belgrade. Belgrade is How a do capital. You write down, write down. How? Middle? Yeah, yeah. Uh, north of Belgrade, but you, uh, okay. I can see, but no, no, I can no. I cannot understand these writings. Uh, by the way, uh, go, Milan, go how, north, go go how, north, north. How many writing systems do you have in in Serbia? Like there is a Latin alphabet, or does this Cyrillic alphabet? I, I cannot uh, understand. Uh, both. We uh, our student teaches both language, both uh, letters, Cyrillic and oh, Latin. I think I think I, I see it. It's um, a little bit north. No, I wait 130. Okay, 130. One, 130. Okay. Yeah, go, uh, go north. More, more, more. Is it... More. Is... No, okay. Uh, so, uh, so. More, more. And there is a Zrenjanin, okay? Uh, on the left there. Zreni... The... Zrenjanin. Oh, oh, <laughs> and mm -hmm. you know, uh, the name is okay on the map is given on Latin and on Cyrillic also. Okay, it is an old town. You, you use lots of Z, Z, Z for many words. Yeah, Z. Yeah, yeah, Z. We have Z. Zrenjanin. Zrenjanin is the name of some Second World War hero, some communist hero that. Uh, uh, I mean, that 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 name is uh, after Second World War given, okay. but before this it has different names like Petrovgrad, Bechkerek, and there are a lot of these uh, buildings in the style of Maria Theresia, uh, because uh, this part of Serbia was part of Austro-Hungarian monarchy oh. for centuries. So this style of buildings, you know, this uh, construction style is. From that pe period. Where is the okay. predominant religion there? Predominant what? Religion. Sorry. Religion. Ah, religion is Orthodox. Orthodox Christianity. Uh, Orthodox because it is uh, it uses this uh, Julian calendar mm. from I think uh, year forty six before Christ BC. 
I would like to thank you, Milan, so much for being here with us. You took some time off from your vacation in Serbia with your family and with your friends to be here with us. To the Brazilians, thank you so much. Saturday is going to be another session with the Brazilian from Rio de Janeiro. So I would like Heather to be there as well so he can check the facts with us. And I'll see you soon, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great week. Thank you, Simone. Thank you.